Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. As the Delhi chokes due to severe air pollution, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal urges people to come together and stop the pollution. He says, we are not blaming anyone, but air polluted by crop burning in Haryana, Punjab comes into Delhi and we have to stop it. He also added that there should be no politics over the issue. As the Sena BJP power tussle enters 10th day, Shiv Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre today said that people of Maharashtra will come to know in the coming days whether his party will be in power or not. In the other news, Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Rao today claimed that his party has the support of 170 MLAs and is capable of forming the next government in Maharashtra. The Shiv Sena leader also said that NCP chief Sharad Pawar's stature as a leader is unparalleled in India and it is not wrong to talk to him for the welfare of Maharashtra. After the clash between lawyers and police at Delhi's Tees Hazari Court fumed a road, the Delhi High Court today transferred the probe to a special investigation team. Earlier in the day, the Delhi High Court took suo moto cognizance of the matter and sought responses from the centre, Delhi's police commissioner and the chief secretary. Uh, remember, on Saturday, lawyers and police had clashed at uh, Tees Hazari Court complex during which at least 10 police personnel and several lawyers were injured. While addressing the media, Congress chief spokesperson Randeep Surjewala alleged that the party general secretary Priyanka Gandhi Wadra also received a message from WhatsApp regarding the spyware. He said when WhatsApp sent messages to all those whose phones were hacked, one such message was also received by Priyanka Gandhi Wadra. Remember, the Congress earlier asked if the Narendra Modi government dispensation spied on citizens and political leaders ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan shares pictures of the Kartarpur complex and Gurdwara Darbar Sahib saying that the venue is ready to welcome the Sikh pilgrims for the 550th birth anniversary celebrations of Guru Nanak. The pictures were shared by Imran Khan on his Twitter account ahead of the planned inauguration of the Kartarpur corridor on November 9th. No respite to Delhiites as the air quality remains severe as a thick blanket of toxic smog continues to smother the city. Several flights have been delayed or cancelled in the view of the obstructed visibility caused by Delhi smog. A public health uh, emergency has already been declared in Delhi and all the schools have been shut till November 5th in both Delhi and Noida. PM Modi is on a three-day visit to Thailand says India is one of the most attractive economies for investment. In the last five years, India has jumped 79 spots in the World Bank's ease of doing business list and it is one of the most attractive economies for the investment, stressing that this is the best time to be in the country. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.